Actually, Andy Gallagher, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Thanks for having me, Bear. Hey, so uh, you have a strange accent for someone who was born in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, I think that's um, that's the culmination of ten years there and thirty years here. So ten years in LA, so that's a Southern LA accent, a northern, northern, uh, somewhere in, near Sc- uh, Glasgow, Scotland. That's right. <laughs> Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. You were raised Catholic? I was, yeah. Yeah, I went to Our Lady of Telpa in um, Los Angeles. Um, Yeah. So I was baptized there, what have you. And, and so, what, but I mean, you know, you, so many people when they're young, they, they're kind of, they grow up in the faith, but when did you really go become a devout Catholic? Um, I was going through a pretty hard time um, when I was maybe 16. In fact, I was 16. Uh, my grandfather passed away on my 16th birthday and I took it very, very hard. Um, and I struggled for a year after that and in that year you, you had a close relationship with him uh yeah uh yeah i did uh very very close um what when he was of, there what kind of did you do things together or yeah well um he, he was always um kind of showing me different things of how to make make things uh, he was a joiner by trade um and he we, we used to have this little thing under the house where it was like a, a just a, a workshop where we were showing me how to kind of drill and kind of nail things together. The deeper things, you can't write an, an analytical narrative about the Trinity. You have to do it allegorically or through poetry or through music. Yeah. You know, I often wonder, you know, we, you mentioned Father Spitz earlier on. I, I love his show. I can't say that I understand <laughs> but if it was to music, I probably understand it a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> he would be the first one to say that, I think, too. And yeah. I love, you know, I just finished reading his first four books. I think he's got a fifth one coming out. But and then I was with him at the Napa Institute, and oh, wow. of course, I told him I love your books, and he goes, "Yeah." And then he asked me questions like a college professor, right? He was the president of Gonzaga. And I, of course, I had the answers because I just read them. And then I had my man cave cigars, the seven virtue cigars that we have on our website. And I gave, and I provided all the cigars for the Nappy Institute. They have cigar night every night at the Nappy Institute. And I got to sit next to Father Spitzer while he smoked one of my cigars. I mean, that's a one hour moment, right? You don't, it takes an hour to have one. But I, uh, tell me more about that, that it's the soul's upward yearning, right? What is it about Father Spitzer's, uh, uh, what he says, how does that communicate with you about your music and your ministry? Um, it's baffling to me it is absolutely baffling but there's also simplicity to it hey man I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.